Well, hey everybody, welcome to another Not Thursday. Yes, this is an Olight video, but you know what this is? This is a different kind of Olight video. It's O-Knife time. I got three of the brand new O-Knives that we are going to open up together. So we're going to do an unboxing, first look. This is very exciting because these are all brand spanking new. We have the Beagle, the Parrot with Micarta handles, and Parrot with G10 handles. So, let's do this. Oh, actually, another reminder of why Olight is so awesome. I love this thing. This was sent to me as a customer because I had bought stuff and it was one of their gifts. Like, they just do random gifts all the time and give them to people for being good customers. Okay, so I also have the uh, splint here for reference if you own this. And we'll use this to derobe and get into the packages. All right, I'm gonna sit down myself and enjoy this. So obviously I have never seen these before and uh, except online because they're all so brand new, but let's take a look-see at the Beagle first. That's the one that I like the looks of. Yeah, same as the splint, it came with its own carry case. Oh, and there isn't a coin in there. So that's nice looking. Oh, knife. Outdoor Elite, and it is the coinciding coin to go with the knife, which is Beagle. That's pretty cool. A little spot in there, if that's your thing to carry with. And here's what we really want to see. So this blade, along with the blades on these two, are stainless steel. So high resistance to corrosion and great blade retention. So the Beagle is different than the Splint or the Parrot where it does not have a flipper tab like that. It has your traditional thumb studs. But with all these O-knives, there's uh, ball bearings in the pivot points there and they are smooth and fast. I mean, super smooth. And oh yeah, that's sharp. Wow, this thing's crazy light. And as well as the blade, it is a stainless steel liner lock. These are all liner lock knives. Yeah, it's got a decent feel to it. It's a... Uh... 7.6 inches in total length. Blade length is 3.3 and then your handle is 4.3 and it's just under three and a half ounces for its total weight. Yeah, super light. So there's the Beagle and the Splint. Together you can see the Beagle is definitely a bit larger. All right, well, let's get these two open, take a look, and then we'll look at them all together. All right, let's go with the G10 Parrot first. So, same thing inside coin. I'm not going to show you that. Let that be a surprise for you. I am rather intrigued by the stubbiness. I actually don't own anything shaped like that for a knife. Yeah, that is totally different for me. So overall length, 6.3 inches, blade length 2.6, handle 3.7, and just over three and a half ounces. So it's actually a little bit heavier than the Beagle. And actually, uh, That actually feels okay in hand. Liner lock, 
same thing, Stain, all stainless steel on the liner lock, the blade, and bearings in the pivots. And uh, yeah, the clips are nice, nice and tight, deep carry. There's those three for you. Yeah, nice and grippy handle. Just a completely different texture and game. So there's the four of them together for size comparison and colors and such. Ah, what a good looking batch. And obviously since these are all new products, I really can't give you any type of, you know, review or opinion on them other than the splint has been Jen's knife for the last month. She's been using it for just, you know, everyday tasks. And the edge still feels good. I haven't had to touch that up for her. She hasn't asked, but feeling it now, it still don't feel too bad. The action on this thing is amazing. Like once it, you know, gets some use, it feels great. It really does. And I'm sure these will too. And for the price points of the knives, they're actually not bad you know what you would pay for a knife in this price range coming from a flashlight company they're not bad they have these made for them regardless but you know that feels decent And I'm just noticing on the Beagle, I believe you can run the clip on either side, which you cannot on the Parrot. So that's a little detail you might be interested in. So again, this video is just a, well, unboxing, first look. I mean, obviously you can go online, look at pictures, but at least, you know, here you can see different angles and see them in hand and... You know, I mean, what am I going to do? I'm going to cut paper, paracord, and tell you, oh, it's sharp. Of course it's sharp. That's the way they come. It's, uh, it's just a matter of time to see how they hold up. And all we can do is give you a one-month review on this and say, yeah, it's been nice. It's been real nice. I do know that there's enough people using them in the Facebook group that I haven't seen any complaints with the splint and the first model that came out so I'm sure that these are built of all same quality and uh, it's cool it's good to have things that you know fairly decent price points and options and colors and whatnot so keep in mind if you're watching this the weekend of Black Friday 2021 they're all on sale if you are watching this later you can use the channel promo code SDNT 10 and get 10% off uh, anything in the store that's not on sale. So keep that in mind if after the fact the video helped you in any way. All right, everybody, I will keep you updated just like I do with the flashlights to say, yeah, been using this all summer, love it. Or in the case of the splint, we've had it a month. It's been decent. And uh, who knows, maybe I'll pass these on to the friends or use it myself. I don't know. I like the parrot. I think the parrot's going to be my cardboard box breaker downer here. All right. Get out and have some fun and I'll see you soon. Enjoy your not Thursday. Mm -hmm.